Not everything you do has to define who you are. Sometimes you make a choice and at the end of the day, it's just something you've done. Alex! Alex, wait! You gave me violets. Yeah. They're for you to give to someone else, like... Jen seems really upset right now. Um, you should give them to her. I mean, you guys are... So... I, I have to go, but I'll, I'll see you later. probably shouldn't have let it go any further because I was getting over her. I mean, I really, I was, but she kissed me and it was Jen. And I didn't think that she could actually like really be spaghetti, but then she was spaghetti and it was really good spaghetti. But then she was freaking out and running and, and I'm in a sheet and she's telling me that she doesn't even like spaghetti and then she's gone and Alex is there with the violets and, okay. I know she said that the violets weren't for me, but they were for me to give to someone else, but, but that, that has to be crap, right? Well, now it's been two days and Polly and Luke won't stop sucking each other's faces and Nick keeps asking me to take him to buy his first snap bag and Jen won't answer my calls and Alex, well, the violets are dead and I don't know what to do. I say, just fuck them both and then move on. <sighs> Jen, can you just answer my call, please? I just... We should talk. <laughs> Have you guys heard anything? Well, uh, uh has been trying to tell Costello that he knows who's on first, but I just don't think that Costello gets it. It's really dumb, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, someone needs to talk to Jen. <sighs> someone needs to give her some space. I have been giving her space. Leslie, you've been calling her every hour. Yeah, and if she would answer, then I would stop. I mean, we've never gone two days without talking. She could be dead for all we know. Or she could just be Jen and have a knack for dramatics. Well, she's not that dramatic. <laughs> Please, do you not remember the time that the apartment across the street got bed bugs and she made us all strip all of our clothes off before we could even come in? <laughs> yeah. Yep. You yep. know what? Yep. This isn't even fair, okay? If anyone should be giving anyone the silent treatment, it's me. She came on to me first. She is the one who kissed me. She is the one who freaked out. She's not the one who got locked outside in a sex sheet. To be fair, you didn't have to chase after her. Um, I'm sorry, um, did your best friend who you thought was straight come on to you and then freak out afterwards? No. Okay, so you don't, then you don't get an opinion. Cool. Can you get us some sushi? And then we'll get up to you later? Yeah, okay. okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right. She's acting like this is my fault. No one said anything was your fault. Then why won't she answer her phone? Okay, I told her it didn't have to be a big deal and she agreed and now she's ignoring me. Can you just sit down and take a deep breath? I'm not gonna sit down and take a deep breath, okay? This, this is supposed to be a happy memory. 
So forgive me for being a little peeved because this has all gone to shit. Do you remember the first time that you came out to me? That has nothing to do with this. Nick got us those fake IDs and Jen insisted that we use them to go to that gay club across campus. Remember? When we got back to the dorms, you were wasted. We were both wasted. Whatever. You were wasted and you told me that you were pretty sure that you were attracted to women. And you also told me... I told you that even if I was, I wasn't sure I'd ever be able to come out. It took you seven more years. Look, I don't know what's going on with Jen, and I'm not saying that what how she's acting is right, but I don't know, maybe she came to you because she thought you would understand. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Do you want me to go talk to her? Talk to Alex while you're at it? <laughs> Babe, the woman gave you fucking flowers. You're on your own with that one. Um, um, you look nice. Do you Thanks. have a second? I was hoping I we don't could actually. Talk. I just, it won't take long. I just, the other day, what you saw with Jen, I just, it wasn't what you think it was, or it, it doesn't, uh, I mean, it is, but it's not. Leslie, it's fine. It's fine. Um, look, the violets were for you to give to someone else, like I said, so. I gotta go. Okay, <laughs> but that's just, it. I want to give it to you. Leslie. You clearly have a lot going on. Um, it's just, and it, there's not anything going just, on and I'm sorry that you Hi. Hey. Uh, I'm How just, are you? Good. How are you? Good. Oh. Um, this is my hey, neighbor, I'm Michael. Leslie. Leslie. Michael. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, are you ready? Yeah, if you are. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, well, it was nice to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you too. See you later, Leslie. Bye. <laughs> what did Jen say? So we had a bit of a problem. Everything okay? We think so. You think so? What happened? Nothing, technically. <laughs> okay, would you guys just tell me what's going on? Um, Jen moved to Azerbaijan. <laughs> 